Shout out to Clash Tournament for doing an awesome job streaming this. Making Absolutely. their way here. Chivo. So speaking of Agro Falcos, we just had one on stream, and we're just going to get another one, the right. Agro Falco himself of the East Coast. 17th at Gomo, 25th at Zena, 7th at 7 years, 5th at Justice 3, 2nd at PCX, and 5th at Nebulous 2. That's a really good track record, actually. Regular top oh. contender at Game Over. He's too. actually took out notable players, like he beat Reno, he beat, uh, Silent Wolf, he beat, he beat a lot of people before. Um, over his, his years, not like as of recent. Uh, recently, Reno, you know, but like Silent Wolf, like back in the day and so. stuff. Yeah. But um, he's he's gotten a lot better in the past uh, year and a half. Really great pup player. Yeah, um, and you don't see too many Jigglypuffs in the East Coast. Yeah, and he's, he's uh, I think the premier, the premier of New England. Oh, yeah. definitely. He's one of the few players that I'm actually uh, worried to play against. Like, there's like I play against like um, Matt and Mafia. Like, even though they're just as good as Sai, like I'm not worried about him because like. I don't know, I, I'm just not nervous, but I guess Sai I am because he's puff, he's really good at it, yeah. and like, uh, he, he's just he's just a really solid player, and That's I'm really consistent. That's a nasty matchup too. There, there's not, uh, I don't think there's ever a day where he's playing really off. I mean, I know like, puff isn't really a character with a tech skills wise, but like, he's, he's really <laughs> solid. Matt <laughs> And here we see the best TO of all time, Matt.Zap. 13th at ROM 7, first at Game Over 28, <laughs> that just happened! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, fifth at Seven Years Five, third at PCX, fifth at Hall of Gaming, and third at Cold Heart Smash. Um, yeah, shout out to Matt for um, making a Smash team in New England. The notorious Matt dot Zeb. Oh yeah, and uh, it's really hard to just go ham the way Matt wants to in this oh, matchup. Yeah. Like right. you have to, you have to respect the puff, and especially size puff. All right, right now, so we're in uh, losers bracket. Matt against Judas Sai. So I, the last time you guys played, which was Tuesday, uh, Matt actually took the set. Um, it was at nice. game over. He um, and what the thing is, when these two guys duke it out, um, every time they do play, it can go either way. Like obviously that's the whole concept of the game, but it's just really close every time. And great down to by nice Matt down taking the first blood. blood. Look at that tech skill showing off the uh, the shine in places. Right. And uh, takes it right back, and this is that's puff for you. Man. You get hit once, you might be dead. Especially with F Falco, a character that can be easily ganked. <laughs> yeah, here we have the uh, the best recovery in the game versus the worst recovery in the game of the top tiers, of course. But yeah, that bear pressure, that wall of pain. If that up tilt landed, that might have been a kill. Just barely gets out of that, and uh, oh. Misses the edge guard. Nice, nice use of the the wall jump to get back, and we are back to neutral. Oh yeah. So good recovery from Matt does that. Misses up the angle, but uh, it's okay to see if uh, Matt can bring it back. Oh, and, and that's so risky yeah, going off the <laughs> like that. Like, playing against pop against the edge is risky in general. Like, you have to be careful where you can be easily can. Yeah, that's such a mad thing to do, just to, to not care and just do it. Um, you can see some Falcos, like, I think there's two schools of Falco thought, and there's the Shizwiz school, which I think Matt is definitely a yeah. part of. Now, and, like, the this PP school, this which is does this notable of, uh, always playing near the edge, camping, like, not necessarily camping, but waiting it out, I guess, well, I guess you could say camping. So, Matt knows that, Matt plays Sai, uh, well enough, so, he just gets shoot later, but one time he does go in, he gets camped, so he Yeah, and if you're not careful. super careful, yeah, again, Matt just going off. Trying for the, the shield poke down tilt that would have killed at that percent, so it's not a bad try. Oh, and again tries for the shield poke down tilt, gets shield grabbed for his for his efforts. And this might be that might be death, and Matt just Matt just quits the game. So right. on to game two. How long was that? That was like I think less than two minutes for sure. Very quick. And that's the way that this this matchup can definitely go. Oh yeah. Um I'm glad I well I like what size like he doesn't always rely on the traditional off the rest or off yeah. the rest. He, he he does okay, so a lot of people know Sai for his edge game and for his lack of creativity in the game. Not as a disrespecting way, but just like a uh, a traditional pub like just back airing. And obviously but that's the best way yeah, to play pub in a lot of ways. It's efficient, so why not, you know? But uh, alright, so right now uh, Matt brings it to Pokemon Stadium. Low ceiling, so he can hop for the down tail and shine kills. Um, also, it has a platform with them that um, you can use to escape. And I really like clutch. the Pokemon pick. It has a lot of room for Falco to run with on stage. Oh my wow. goodness, what was that? I'm just gonna let go when the Donald Trash is fully charged. <laughs> 
And uh, yeah, classic that does that right there. Just charges the smash for the shield, yeah. and it works. Is that box? All right. Yeah. So this is what happened last time, game one. So yeah, um, early quick lead from Matt dot Zep. And then side took it right away back, and uh, after that just started running Matt all over the place. So hopefully uh, Matt uh, can actually. Uh, ooh, nice. Matt feels very much in control of this oh, one. Yeah. Definitely all the momentum he, in his he favor. He has more room to shoot lasers to readjust up air and oh. uh ooh, ah, fox and that's two stocks matt um not happy with the way the last game went and just wants to shut this one out just as convincingly the other direction and uh forward airs to kill himself yeah you don't want to die for a lot of rushing but hey it's not matt.zeb if you don't see some goofy shit and uh yeah side going for the shield grab doesn't get punished for it whipping it but yeah that that shield pressure uh, James's shield, not the best. He is a very small character, but it wow. will whittle down quickly. Wow, nice hop Nice, on. nice hop on. grab. Didn't get anything off the grab, but... Oh, there you go. Wow. I don't, I don't even want to comment Matt on that. Not making a statement. I mean, I know... Uh. Okay, but size combo is looking pretty clean in return. Doesn't quite get the kill. Get any mileage off this. Right, oh, Matt, Matt's there. Like, I'm surprised he didn't go. He didn't go for a shield grab there. All right, Matt. Even though he's a stock lead, it could be easily brought back, especially at the top. Now, Matt doesn't have to make any commitment to chase him off the edge because he is in the lead. So Absolutely. for all he wants, he can just time this out. So he doesn't have to play by side game. And at this percent, rest is pretty much off the table. If okay. Matt dies it up, um, he will get the return kill, and so uh, he needs to do this the off honest way. And he, well, just as I say that. Oh, that doesn't actually kill at that percent. I thought he was going to actually go for a down tilt. Yeah, me too. I guess that probably wouldn't have killed either. Just a little bit short. Oh, well, right down tilt takes it there. Alright, now he goes to game three. He evens it out. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Now, Matt is probably going to strike Dreamland? Or, yeah, yeah, probably Dreamland. Dreamland. <laughs> Definitely so, Dreamland. I think he's either going to bring him to FD or Battlefield. I want to say. Yeah, I, but they're, they're there's, definitely... Because uh, there's no reason him to bring him... Well, he could go back to... No, he can't go back to Clown. They have to be So, yeah. yeah, so he... Yeah, it's probably out of the loop, too. Unless he wants to Salty Run back, but I doubt he'd go back to... Uh, uh, Pokemon's terrible yeah. for Puff. Exactly, so... You want to... Not a lot of room to um, for them to run around, but still large blast zones to, to take advantage of the differences in recovery. Yeah. All right, let's see what stage. Looks like right. he called it battlefield. Battlefield. All right. Gets in that stray hit. Every percent counts on Puff. And wow, three back airs in succession. Good drop through uh, back air to to secure that extra hit. That's the thing that you see a lot of advanced Falcons do. Um, nor some people would just get the one hit and go away, but um, if you're on a platform, you just get three percent. Yeah. And wow. almost a kill, you just a fox. couple of percent short. Alright. Right. <laughs> the wake up. Nice. Hard read on the forward smash what? takes it. And if what? He, he basically did was crouch there. So if you get get up attack, you can instantly shield and punish it. And then whichever way he corresponds with the roll, you can punish it. So that's oh, really and misses the punish. And Falco at 100% is just as dangerous as Falco at 0. This is the glass cannon. But Sai evens it up to three stocks. Oh, oh no, yeah. Matt Dutzab getting battlefielded. You can see the frustration on his face right now. Sai looking completely unfazed. Yeah, unfazed at all. Just doing his thing, just playing the puff. And this is just the most infuriating thing. When Puff has the lead, and yeah, you can see, he's just baiting it out, because Puff is so safe there compared to Falco. If Falco goes out and chases Puff there, there's a chance Falco can just die at 0%. Yeah. So it's doing the really smart thing. Some people would say lame thing, but it is... And it pays dividends, and you can see Matt in dire straits right now, down one stock to three. And this could be his tournament life. Gets the bear. Right. You can see fight over ledge control and Psy. This is this is just so the most frustrating thing yeah. to play as a so Right now team. man can't let that SD and unfortunate uh, edge guard get to him. He needs to play this correctly. If he lets that get to him, his spirit 
Pop will obviously be down and his gameplay will be worse because of the lack of confidence of him thinking he's gonna win. Okay. Absolutely, and uh, that's the thing about Puff, it's the hidden the hidden second weapon besides Bear. She has also, uh, also wears down your... Uh, I feel like yeah, and you Puff's can see Bear is really good from, against Falco, especially the game too. Oh, Absolutely, oh, and that could be it. And Matt... Alright, and... Knocked uh, out by Psy. Psy takes it. So well played to Psy.